Can couples therapy solve sexual problems? What is the truth about the normal duration of sexual intercourse? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, couples therapy can be effective in resolving sexual problems when based on open communication and collaborative work. Sexual therapists are trained to address sexual issues and help couples overcome challenges. The normal duration of sexual intercourse varies, and there is no universal standard. Open communication about preferences and expectations with a partner is key to ensuring a satisfactory sexual experience and mutual understanding. Instead of focusing on preconceived standards, it is more beneficial to focus on the quality of connection and mutual satisfaction in intimacy. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important for all parties involved to clearly and consciously give their consent before engaging in any sexual activity. Importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care includes practices such as genital self-examination, body exploration, and proper use of contraceptives and protection against sexually transmitted diseases. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. Individual differences. What works for one person in treating anorgasmia may not work for another, as causes and contributing factors can vary significantly from one person to another. Influence of culture and religion. In some conservative cultural or religious environments, discussing sexuality and seeking treatment for anorgasmia may be taboo, making it difficult for those affected to seek help. Inspiration in film and television. The Kama Sutra has been depicted in numerous movies, television series, and plays, both as an object of academic study and as a source of entertainment and creative exploration. In Japan, sex education tends to be more focused on biology and reproduction, with less emphasis on emotional aspects and interpersonal relationships. However, due to easy access to online pornography, Many young people obtain information about sex from non-educational sources. Kama Sutra in gastronomy. Some restaurants offer themed menus inspired by the Kama Sutra, where dishes and drinks bear suggestive names and are creatively presented to stimulate the senses. Latex and leather clothing fetishism. Latex and leather clothing fetishism involve sexual attraction towards tight and shiny garments, such as latex suits or leather jackets. These garments may symbolize power, dominance, or simply be aesthetically appealing to those with this fetish. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Lingerie fetishism. This fetish focuses on sexual arousal caused by a partner's underwear or lingerie, which may include garments such as bras, panties, thongs, etc. Masturbation and empowerment. For many women, masturbation is a form of sexual empowerment by taking control of their own pleasure and exploring their sexuality without shame or taboos. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation in older age. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. Media influence. The media, such as movies, TV shows, and erotic literature, 
can influence people's sexual fantasies by presenting scenarios and situations that spark imagination. Mental stimulation. Sexual arousal in women can be closely linked to mental stimulation. Foreplay can involve erotic conversations, innuendos, and anticipation that set the stage for a satisfying sexual experience. Multidisciplinary approach. Effective treatment of premature ejaculation often requires a multidisciplinary approach, including lifestyle changes, sexual therapy, medications, and stress management techniques. In the Netherlands, sex education focuses on prevention and contraception and is considered one of the most comprehensive programs in the world. Despite openness on this topic, the Netherlands has one of the lowest teenage pregnancy rates in Europe. In Nordic countries like Sweden and Norway, sexual education is integrated into the school curriculum from an early age, addressing topics such as consent, sexual diversity, and equitable relationships. Onset age. Premature ejaculation typically begins in adolescence or early adulthood, but it can persist throughout life if not properly treated. Oral transmission. Although less common than vaginal or anal sexual transmission, some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, can be transmitted through oral sex, emphasizing the importance of using protection during all forms of sexual activity. Physical exercise and erectile. Dysfunction. Staying physically active can help prevent erectile dysfunction, as regular exercise improves cardiovascular health, promotes blood circulation, and reduces the risk of obesity, all of which contribute to erectile dysfunction. Polyamory versus open relationships. Although often used interchangeably, polyamory involves having multiple romantic and often deep relationships, whereas open relationships may focus more on sexual exploration with other people without necessarily seeking additional romantic relationships. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Potential benefits. For some people, open relationships can strengthen the emotional connection with their primary partner by allowing them to explore their sexuality together and share new experiences. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as an increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Primary prevention. In addition to using condoms during sexual intercourse, other primary prevention strategies include reducing the number of sexual partners and practicing sexual abstinence. Relationship between mental health and sexuality mental health and sexuality are closely related, and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety can affect sexual function and emotional well-being. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,